So the new Star Woke show is coming out in June, and Leslie Headland, creator, executive producer, and proud queer, had this to say about it. Frozen meets Kill Bill. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious what that means. Can we elaborate? <laughs> I loved kind of the reinvention of the villainess, you know, like as the hero. And I thought, God, I'd love to do that in Star Wars. You know, I would love to have somebody, you know, a character that 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 normally would be the quote bad guy, you know, be the protagonist. And I was like, get it in here. Let's go. Action. Yes, please. Why don't you tell a story about Star Wars from the perspective of the villains, of the bad guys? No, Leslie, why don't you tell us a story from the perspective of the bad guys? Like, Star Wars saved my life. Like, like... It's like... Even if the, the truth is like, like, well, I like this thing and I don't like that thing. And, and if you don't like the acolyte, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Like, now Star Wars Celebration is like a big hug. Age bringing, don't you go anywhere. That's right. Everyone's favorite assistant of Harvey Weinstein is here to save the Star Wars franchise with the newest and perhaps wokest to be masterpiece that is the acolyte. As usual with woke Disney productions, it looks very promising. The trailer for the show also dropped a few weeks ago, so without further ado, let's see what the train wreck looks like. Close your eyes. Tell me what comes into your mind. Human excrement! Doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to stick a pineapple onto your head either, and yet, there it is. Life. Balance. I see fire. I see a dead franchise. So we got a masked chick with tiny daggers in a world where lightsabers and laser blasters exist. I wonder how long she'll last. Oh wait, she has the force of woke with her, so she's probably fine. Wow, it looks like the chicks at Disney just watched The Matrix. Someone is killing Jedi. Yeah, it's Disney. What happened? I sensed darkness. I sense wokeness. Isn't about good or bad. You're right, it's just bad. Really bad. This is about power. And who is allowed to use it? Whoever is diverse and female enough, it seems. What is that? I don't know, but it looks like a Benetton commercial. Damn, you know you have a crappy trailer when the memes are the best thing about it. We basically got nothing out of it about the show. Except that it's going to be woke as hell and fill out the DEI quota for at least a year. Oh, and it's going to have at least one chick in it that's gay and lame, spiced up with a crap load of girl bossery. Judging by the trailer and interviews about the show, it also seems like it's going to be another one of those morally bankrupt Disney productions that's trying to somehow make the villains seem like they're just misunderstood, blurring the line between good and evil. This kind of rationalizing what is good or bad has lately become a trend in woke Hollywood, and it's almost as tired and predictable as all the progressive political propaganda they are trying to sell us as entertainment. Anyway, here's exclusive footage of Kathleen Kennedy calling out the Star Wars fan base for being hateful. <laughs> Alright, I've got to get out of here now. 
If you liked this video, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and tell me down below what you liked about it. And if you hated it, make sure to leave a nasty comment that the spam filter will automatically delete. You should also check out my awesome book, which you can find in the description. See you all next time.